Hello everyone, this is Heidi from Briarbush Nature Center. Welcome back to Magic Warnings Home Edition. I hope you are all healthy and well. We always start Magic Mornings with a song. So, if you're happy to hear from Briarbush, clap your hands. If you're happy to hear from Briarbush, clap your hands. If you're happy to hear from Briarbush and you really want to show it, if you're happy to hear from Briarbush, clap your hands. If you want to learn about animals, shout hooray! If you want to learn about animals, shout hooray! If you want to learn about animals and you really want to show it, if you want to learn about animals, shout hooray! If you want to learn about plants and trees, touch the sky. If you want to learn about plants and trees, touch the sky. If you want to learn about plants and trees and you want everyone to see. If you want to learn about plants and trees, touch the sky. If you want to go on a hike, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you want to go on a hike, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you want to go on a hike and you really want to show it. If you want to go on a hike, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're ready to learn, sit right down. If you're ready to learn, sit right down. If you're ready to learn and you really want to show it, if you're ready to learn, sit right down. Nice job. So today, we are going to talk about gardens. Do any of you have gardens at your house? What kind of gardens do you have? Some of you may have plants and flowers in your garden. Some of you may have vegetable gardens. Gardens are fun and it's a great way to get outside. So we are going to read a story called My Garden by Sarah Keen and illustrated by Bettina Guthridge. In my garden, I use a watering can, a small fork, and a trowel for digging. In my garden, I like to plant seedlings, water the flowers, and sweep up the leaves. In my garden, I wear a hat to keep the sun off, gloves to keep my hands clean, and old clothes to get dirty in. In my garden, I find spiders and worms, butterflies and bees, and sometimes a frog. In my garden, I see flowers and trees, vegetables and herbs, and the goldfish in the pond. In my garden, I have a favorite seat for reading, a big tree for climbing, and a swing for swinging. In my garden, I know a shady spot for picnics, a noisy place to play, and a secret space for hiding. My garden is a very special place. All right, so we are gonna pretend that we are seeds. Seeds are a great way to start a garden. So we're gonna pretend. Come on down, get nice and low, nice and tiny. All right, now, are seeds above the ground or below the ground? Most of the time, they are, when we plant them, they are below the ground. So all around us, we need soil. So everyone, gather up some soil and sprinkle it all around you. All right, now that we're all covered in soil, what is shining on me right now? What is big and bright and yellow and up in the sky and keeps us warm? Yeah, the sun. It's a beautiful sunny day today. So gather up those sun's rays and get yourself nice and toasty warm. Awesome. Now that we're cozy in the soil and have the sun, we're gonna need something that falls from the clouds and the, in the sky. What do you think that could be? Yeah, rain, we've had a lot of rain lately. So we're going to, oh, I even have a water bottle. We can spray oh, and get some water on our seed. All right, now the last thing that we need to grow is everyone take a deep breath. <sighs> what is that? Air, yeah, we need air. So with soil and sun and water and air, our seeds are gonna start to grow. So first, let's see, put out your roots. Oh, and we're gonna start to grow our stem nice and tall. Spread those roots out a little bit more. Those roots are gonna keep us in place and we can slurp up water and nutrients with our roots that we're gonna take to the rest of our plant. 
So now that we have our roots, we're gonna have our stem, which is gonna be nice and tall. And then we're gonna need leaves. So give yourself lots and lots and lots of leaves. And they're gonna use that sun to make their own food, which is pretty cool. Now, we're gonna keep growing and we are going to have a flower on the top. Let me see your beautiful flower. Now, who likes to come visit flowers? We do, for sure. And so do some of our insect friends, like bees and butterflies. And they fly from flower to flower to flower to flower and move yellow powdery pollen to help those plants make more seeds. Great job, everyone. Give yourselves a round of applause for growing like seeds. So now that we've pretended to be seeds, let's go inside and check out Miss Heidi's indoor garden. I planted some seeds and I have started a garden from some food scraps that we had at our house. So I'll teach you how to do that as well. Come on, let's go inside. Welcome to my indoor garden that I started with all things that I had around my house. You can see the kids and I went around and found some old pots that they had painted when they were little. That's a great craft. You can do this week if you have any pots. You can paint them to start off with. Um, we also needed to get some small little bowls and things to get started. So as you can see, I have celery that I cut about four inches up that started to sprout. This I did a little differently. I just broke some of the celery stems off and I'll show you that in a little bit. I have garlic that I just put the cloves in, peeled some of the paper off and put them in water. And as you can see, we have roots that are growing and it started sprouting. I have an onion that I cut up and you can see little sprouts starting to grow from there. I have two different kinds of lettuce right here. I have green leaf lettuce growing and I have romaine lettuce growing. This here was an onion that I had put out in my compost that started to sprout, so I have planted it and it is doing really well. So let's show you some of the things that you can do to get started so that you can plant an indoor garden with some food scraps at your house. So the first thing you will need is a grown-up to make sure that you can get all of this done. If you have any kinds of lettuce, that would be great. You can start with that and a cutting board, little bowls, and a knife that your grown-up can use. All you have to do here to start growing some lettuce, the higher up I find, the better it seems to work. So you simply cut it like that and you can see not much going on there. Kids, you can pour water into a bowl, about an inch or so, and then you stick the lettuce in water and put it in a sunny spot. Wait five or seven days and you'll notice that you'll see little sprouts starting to form and then you can plant them in some potting soil. Next, I have some very wilty celery. Um, kids, you can pull off the outside celery. That one's very floppy. All the big ones you can pull off. you can leave the rest of them like this. You can see some small leaves starting to form and then you can pour some water into a bowl just like the lettuce and you can stick the celery in and put that in a sunny spot. I have found that this seems to work better and it grows faster than cutting the bottom of the celery. Also, with all of this wilty celery that we have, you can have your grown-up cut the bottom off. Oh, that one came clean, out. And you can stick it in a glass of cold water and the celery will become nice and firm again. So here I have a plastic Ziploc bag and inside I have a paper towel. In here, I had put some pepper seeds. Some of them look a little moldy, 
But after about six or seven days, if you see, they have some tiny little roots starting to form. So I'm gonna try and plant those and see if we can get a pepper plant started. Now to do that, a simple way, if you don't have a pot, is you can take two Red Solo cups. You can put a hole in one of them. Then you're gonna take your soil. This is a great thing for kids to do. It's fun, if it's a nice day, you could do it outside. I would be doing it outside today, but it just started pouring. So we are gonna do it inside. If you don't have any potting soil, maybe you could just try and get some from outside in your yard. It's fun to find a nice little spot for digging. And you could probably have some good insect friends that will help you out a little as well. So you can put your soil in, pat it down a little bit. Then you're gonna take that red, other red cup and that's gonna be on the bottom. We're gonna put a hole, put your finger in there. We're gonna make four holes in this cup. And I'm gonna take each little seed and put it in the holes. And do four on this one. And then I'm going to cover them up. Once they are all covered up, I have a nice little spray bottle. I'm gonna give them some water and put them in a nice sunny spot. Something else that you can do is to make it a little bit more like a greenhouse. You can cover it up just like so and put that in a sunny spot. You can even see from when I had over there that there was water condensing on there to make it a little more like a greenhouse. I hope you had fun today. I hope you get a chance to do some food scrap gardening in your house. If you don't have any of those things around, that's okay. If you have some bird seed, you can always take some bird seed. If you have that at your house and maybe plant that in some soil and see what comes out of it. It would be a nice surprise to see what happens. Hopefully, you'll be able to go ahead and do some gardening. If not, then if you already ate all the vegetables in your house, which is a good possibility, that's okay. You can make a pretend garden out of some of the toys or things that you may have around your house. Maybe make a wooden block garden or a Lincoln log garden. Legos are also fun as well, even a cardboard box. And you can put some pretend food or flowers in there. I hope you have fun making your garden any which way that you can at home. Remember to stay curious, explore nature, and have a magic morning. Until next time, see ya!